Uh, hi, I'm Skinny Cheeks. I recently put out a video covering the current state of the Rune Carver's Blaze set on the PTS, and we talked about the response from Gina on the forums and it being reworked a bit before the patch goes live. It was a short video, only about three minutes. If you want to give that a quick watch, if you haven't already, so that you are up to speed, as this video is a follow-up to that one. So we did get a few more details from Gina on the forums. This post she made actually gave the specifics of the balance changes to the set, so I broke it down here with a screenshot of the actual gear, so hopefully it's a bit easier to understand what's going on with it. So they took the damage ticks from it and reduced them by 47%. Previously, I believe the base tooltip was 395 before any scaling with weapon and spell damage. So this base tooltip with no stats should be at or around 209 now, assuming that original 395 was correct. Then they also removed the guaranteed burning. So now it's only the proc damage that you're getting from this set. No more guaranteed burning. And lastly, this change was actually already seen in the version we were just looking at on the PTS, but this is different from the week one version. The damage from this will activate on every third tick of your damage over time abilities instead of only the third tick. So in that previous video, we were looking at some parses on the PTS that were getting some pretty ridiculous results because they had changed that tick rate, but not yet removed the guaranteed burning or nerfed the value of the ticks. So taking the necromancer parse we looked at, we can essentially cut that damage proc in half, which would be about 10k DPS from it, which is going to be really nice still. But that burning on there will go back down to that at 5 to 7k range or somewhere around there where the necro normally sits at on the dummy. For the Dragonite parts that we looked at, cutting it in half here would have us at about 7.5k DPS, which is still really solid. And this particular parse was not using Burning Talons, which would likely add in a bit more to that with those additional one second ticks. And then probably a pretty similar range here for Templars as well. Probably will end up in the 7 to 8k DPS range from the proc itself. So I think this set is still going to be really good, but let's talk about the pros and the cons. For the pros, since it is based on your damage ticks, essentially the size of the area that it covers is as big as the size of your abilities that you're using. So comparing it to something like Pillar of Nern, which has a very small radius, this will cover a much larger area and affect all of the enemies that are within and taking ticks from your dots. Another pro is that it is flame damage, so it will be boosted by Engulfing Flames and the Incratus set. And then since it procs every third tick, it starts getting its results very quickly. You don't have to wait a longer duration like you do with a set such as Whirl of the Depths or with building stacks with a set like Reliquin. But it does have some drawbacks as well. It is a light set. Now this could be a positive for some situations, but for end game trials, generally medium is a little bit better to go with if you're really optimizing. Now this wouldn't really matter too much if it wasn't for this second drawback. The set does need to be active for the ticks to trigger. So you'll either have to have it as a body set or with three jewelry pieces and two pieces on the body, or you can front bar it but in doing so you're going to miss out on some of those ticks while you're on your back bar. Comparing this to those sets like Whirl or Pillar again, these are easy to one bar because you just need to activate them once per cooldown period and they are good to go. And you can also back bar these sets, whereas Rune Carver will not work as a back bar set at all. And then finally, there's no crit chance on it. The penetration line can be extremely good where it is needed, but I do wish there was a line of crit chance on here somewhere. It definitely hurts it for the dummy parsing, but there are still a lot of encounters in the game where the pin line is going to be very useful. So overall, I really don't see this overshadowing a lot of other existing sets, but I do think it will definitely have a place. And like many of the other sets that Zoss has been introducing recently, it will be situationally very useful and you'll get really nice results for certain classes and encounters. For me personally, just off of what I know right now, I'm going to put this in the A tier up with Pillar of Nern, and I'm definitely going to try to farm it up as soon as I can when the DLC releases. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the set and if you have any ideas on how you're going to use it once you get the pieces you need collected. I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. The contributions help a ton to keep the website and YouTube channel going. And a special thanks to Nicholas, Simon, Cougars Bay and the Cougar City Guild, the Order of War Guild, Cantankerous Cat, Shady, Iffy, Blake1816, Mordecai1212, Santanico, Vidridi, Florian, Phoenix, Nalandia, Unemployed, Chriseliana, Cha Cha, and Technical KO. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, bye.